life as we know it has already changed. This is a follow-up video to number 228 about the migrant crisis in Europe because I have received a lot of emails saying we, they, we cannot allow all these people into our countries. We do not have the resources. It might sound humanitarian, but we cannot cope. We know this. Everybody knows this. We are not trying to convince you of something that is not true. We just have to keep thinking of ways to cope and of ways that we can manage this crisis. Because unfortunately, we cannot just block it out. We cannot go into denial. We cannot pretend these people do not exist. It will be worse. They will all be in our streets, homeless, jobless, and this is not going to help either one of us. However, for the people on the other end that judge the people that are demonstrating right now in Northern Europe about letting in more migrants, and we are calling them all these names like conservatives, racists, Nazis. They are neither of these things. They are simply people that are afraid of the fact that life as they know it will change forever. So we need to talk to them instead of judging them and try to get them to understand that every few hundred years something always happens and life does change forever. Sometimes it's a natural disaster. Sometimes it is mass migration. And this is what is happening now in Europe. Life as we know it is simply changing. Very soon it will happen all over the world. But we need to constantly keep coming up with ideas. Constantly keep thinking of how can we make this as painless as possible. It will not be totally painless. But if we can first accept the fact that our world is changing and as time goes on, it changes faster and faster. The changes that used to happen every decade now happen every year, sometimes every few months. This is what we are afraid of and we are caught like a deer in the headlights. We simply don't know which way to go because it is happening way too quickly for us. We will find solutions. We always do. But it will, it will be difficult to find solutions if we are focusing on the negatives if we are focusing on what we do not like, if we are focusing on the numbers. And one day we will look back and we will start seeing the positives of this migration. Right now we can only see the negatives. Again, only because we are afraid that our life will change. Once we let go of this fear, we could start seeing the positives. These people are young. The majority of them are educated. All they have to do 
is learn one of our languages. They could make our economies richer. They will definitely make our societies younger. And just like America was a hundred years ago, Europe can become a nation of immigrants. This always has a positive side to it at the end. It's a little difficult to focus on this right now. But it will help us if we try. Of course, people will say, a hundred years ago, America was empty. Europe is already full. You know what? Yes, you're right. But we are just going to have to manage somehow. We really don't have much of a choice. We cannot send people back. These people are escaping war. Let's see what else we can say that might help. I'm going to have to again stress the fact Stop judging. Stop judging the people that are not ready for this. They are simply people that are not ready for change. By judging them, we will not help. They will become more fanatic and we will have problems. Let's see what else. You know what, I don't think I have much else for this. But let's also remember one thing. If we have a massive natural disaster in Europe, we will be in exactly the same situation these people are in right now. We are simply one natural disaster away from being in this situation. And then someone else will help us. If we do look the other way, we will regret it later. Because these people are already here. They're not coming. They are already here. This picture is of one detention center of one day on just one Greek island. I have never been a friend of Greece's. However, Greece can simply not cope. Not because of its own economic problems. The country is way too small to cope with this influx. Other European countries will need to assist. A lot of Greeks are being blamed for not doing much. But we need to remember they have been overwhelmed. Nobody can cope with something this big. This will change Europe. But maybe it is time for a change. It's not a good or a bad. It's not that it must change. Things happen. Things that are way beyond our control sometimes. And this is one of the things that is way beyond our control. Personally, I think if we just keep focusing on solutions and on problem solving, we will get by. 
Europe and the Europeans have survived many things like this. We can survive this one as well. We will simply take it one day at a time and we will ask ourselves ten years from now when I look back what is it I do not want to have regrets for? Because this will help us in finding quick solutions. There is no button we can press so everything will be okay in one day. It's not going to happen. This might go on for two to three years. So we will have to keep working, keep accommodating, keep welcoming and keep finding solutions. I will give you my personal take, but this is just my personal take. These people are human capital. They can really assist us in growing our economies. We simply have to let go of some of our rules and regulations. They are just pieces of paper. They served us well when we were trying to become an organized society. But now, most of them, most of these rules, are not even worth the paper they are written on. We cannot allow people to suffer so that we can hold on to 100 year old rules. The difference between being legal and illegal is a piece of paper. This is all it is. This is only my personal opinion. It's not something that needs to be done this way. But because I have lived as an, an illegal for almost 14 years in America, I know very well that the only difference between me and the legal Americans was a piece of paper. That's all. And because nobody knew that I never had this piece of paper, I was treated always as an American. So let's not let a piece of paper cause more problems. If we reject these people, they will get desperate. When humans get desperate, we do things that are not so pretty. Because we have been programmed to survive at all costs. So this is what we do. So we need to do something so that these people will not reach desperation. Because then we will all pay for it. Again, this video is not meant to be a wrong or a right or to say this way is right and the other way is wrong. At 
moments like this, as we said in the first video, both sides are right. I will close it with keep focusing on solutions. We will manage this as well. I will leave it at this.